In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some ways Supercell could improve Clash Royale. There's some really cool ideas here. We're going to start off with this post on Reddit, another way to use star points. And then there's a few others that are awesome that I'm going to show you guys after this as well. And you guys can let me know which ones you guys think would be the best to be implemented in the game. And who knows, maybe Supercell will add one of them in the future. So this first one is different card art concept because as you guys know supercell has kind of stopped adding star level skins now for a while so star points have kind of been long forgotten in a way and as you guys can see there's different art icons for the cards that supercell has kind of changed over the years like the knight they changed how that looked the archers as well as the valkyrie so what this guy's saying here is if supercell doesn't want to add any more star skins they could give us the option to change the card art on the cards and this should be really easy to make as well. No adding a massive sprites sheet for a star skin. Just make multiple images and call it a day. This can give max players something to spend their resources on. Maybe put three in rotation in the shop and call it a day. And of course, they aren't just going to all be old card art. There could be special card arts as well, like a Halloween archer art or a Christmas barbarian. These will also show on your profile. It would be something they can monetize without affecting gameplay. And I think this would be really cool. This is something casual players have been talking about for a very long time, something to do with these star points. And I feel like this would be overall very easy for them to implement. I'll now show you guys a couple ideas the YouTuber Clash with Shane had. New update idea for Clash Rail account mastery. Reward players for mastering cards with permanent account perks. Steamline outdated features like star points, banner box, mastery into one system. Add masteries for evolutions and tower troops. So you can see here in the pictures, it says account mastery level 25. Account mastery allows you to earn rewards, cosmetics, and exclusive titles for mastering your cards. Unlocking or upgrading cards and completing masteries will unlock perks and increase your mastery level. And you see here you're getting rewards like lucky drops that's an evolution shard you see the perks listed here that get basically increased and then there's the next level as well and then it shows your card mastery progress under this this looks so clean i don't know about you guys this looks like it could actually be added in the game and it would look somewhat like this and then you see here there's the regular and the evolution card mastery there's the mega nut <laughs> new title you get an emote new banner lucky drops and then there's also this you can see here where it shows you progressing win battles with this card to increase your card mastery level and then here as you can see it's showing the rewards you get nut job which is a new title so overall this system actually looks awesome and if they combine it all into one like he was saying the outdated features the star points banner box mastery all together, all together, that could honestly be really cool, and this is a fantastic idea. And this idea from Shane might be even cooler. If you guys remember, there used to be a clan chest that was removed, and this is talking about basically bringing it back. So it's clan events, essentially. Rotating special events for clans to earn rewards. Week 1, PvE clan boss. Everyone takes turns attacking. Week 2, clan chest. Earn crowns. Week 3, Clan Wars, bonus rewards in Clan Wars, week four, none, focus on season end. So there's one week break, which I guess could be pretty cool for people to reset. And that way they go all in on the three weeks. So there's a boss event, time remaining, four days, three hours. Enemies are invading our castle. Attack the clan boss to deal as much damage as you can. Damage dealt will persist across attacks. Complete each stage to earn more rewards. And it shows all these stages listed here. And as you can see, 200,000 hit points. And then it's spawning golems, basically. So this is just kind of an example of what it would look like. Obviously, it wouldn't be exactly like this. But you get the idea. It has a ton of health. People take turns attacking it. And you essentially want to be able to defeat it eventually as a clan, as a team, doing it together with your clan. And it shows on here in your clan boss event and then it tells you where you're at how much health the boss has left the stage you're on so just making progress and then the clan crown event as well telling you how many crowns you've earned 
this looks sick to be honest this actually would be absolutely incredible if they brought this in the game this is like to me i would say 10 out of 10 or bare minimum 9 out of 10 i think most people would like this and the last idea i'll be showing by shane is this he's come up with a lot of creative ones so it's a new idea called the training mode practice against specific decks or test interactions choose the deck for your ai opponent the ai can play the deck or you can place you're there. I think he included one more word, but that's all right. Cards to practice interactions can restart within the battle to save time. So as you can see the training mode, it allows you to practice against a virtual opponent. No trophies are lost or gained. You choose your opponent's deck. You turn the opponent AI off to gain control over their cards. So you essentially make it, you can toggle that on or off. And as you can see here, it says training mode AI on and it's essentially just better practice, I feel like, than what's currently in the training mode. I do believe they already improved the trainers, but I think this would be even better. I'm not sure if this would even be possible to implement. I would say out of all of them, this is the one I'm a little bit skeptical on. I guess it really depends on how well the AI would be able to perform with the given deck, but if it could work out and it's something Supercell has the time to do, then I would say it's probably all right. Another thing they could add back to that everyone like, kind of like the clan chest, are the OG quests. As you guys can see here, there used to be quests where essentially they were a little different every day. You could see here, one of them is battle winner. There's play troops and play rare cards. And it's kind of, there was a cycle and you got different quests for you to get rewards every day, basically. And you could work your way for a legendary king's chest. Now, obviously we have the lucky drop system for the daily tasks, but I feel like it's a little different because it's always the same thing. It's basically getting wins, getting crowns, and there's not as much variety. If they had the quests alongside the daily tasks, I feel like it would encourage people to play even more and spend more time on the game, which I think is ultimately what Supercell should want, unless they're worried about people getting too much stuff for free, and then if that's the case, well then maybe they wouldn't add it back. Now this isn't really an idea, but it's kind of a interesting discussion I thought to have. So what would you choose, this guy asked. Basically, you have two options. You can level up your cards and it doesn't cost any gold. So basically it's free, like it costs zero gold to upgrade every single card, or you have the option of chests opening instantly. I actually think it very much depends, which is why I think it's interesting. If this were to happen where you were to get to pick one or the other, basically, maybe this is something Supercell could do as well one month for fun, have these types of specials going on where players get to choose essentially a feature or an ability they have in the game which essentially kind of bypasses the system they typically have and it could make it pretty fun because one person might pick one thing the other person might pick the other so i would say leveling cards up where it doesn't cost any gold is better if you're someone that doesn't play the game that much but if you're someone that plays the game a ton if you're playing dozens of games every single day I would actually say the chests opening them instantly would be better because you'd just be cycling through so many chests every single day and eventually you'd be getting some really good ones like the Royal Wild chests or the Mega Lightning chests where you'd be getting really good value. But this could be another idea. I wasn't even, when I saw this post, thinking of an idea of some, this could be something they implement, but maybe... They could do some specials like this every once in a while, maybe for the holidays or just randomly. Could be exciting for players to have this choice, picking one or the other. But either way though, guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this.